I can't imagine what my life would be now if I had come, you know, from money. It just, it would have just been such a different outcome. My parents, they both grew up on Vancouver Island. My father, he was an office worker. So his job basically was to direct what machines would go where to fix the roads. And it was a blue collar job, I guess. And uh, when he passed away, he was making $90 a week. When I was three, I was, my mother was dusting the piano and she hit a note and I yelled, that's an E. My father said, yep, the boy's got perfect pitch. And so by the time I was 12, I was starting to, to conceptualize about how I could make money at music. I was playing in a band and we actually got jobs at weddings and so uh, we were we were probably you know making 50 bucks a night when I moved to England when I was 16 I needed to have an electric piano and an amplifier they took me to a music store and my father cashed in his life savings $1,700 to buy me this piece of equipment that I needed I mean it's crazy it's just crazy um, a that my parents let me go B that I went at 16 I stayed in London for another year or so no matter what I did I couldn't get a job the cold flat I was living in, you had to put a shilling in to get heat because I had no money, so I couldn't get the heat. And that's what heated the shower, too. I just couldn't, I couldn't handle it any longer. And, and uh, thank God I went home. I was playing in nightclubs. And I never did drugs. I never drank. I just loved music. And one night, uh, I came home around 6 in the morning. And my father, of course, was up getting ready to go to work. He said, so... This music thing, you really like it, huh? I said, yeah, Dad, I really, really like it. I really think that I can make something to myself. From what I hear, he said, it's a really tough business to be in. I said, I know, but I just love it. I couldn't think of doing anything else. He said, well, then you're probably going to really be good at it. My father was giving me permission to follow my dream, and that was it. And then about two weeks later, he passed away. So it was the one adult conversation that I ever had with my father. By the late 70s, I had become a successful studio musician and uh, was living the dream. And the first year of producing was 1978. It has been a spectacular ride. So the American dream is alive and well. And it's one of the most fantastic things that a child or a student or a young adult could reach for. It's, it's unbelievable. It works. Horatio Alger Association member David Foster.